došli na Mohotel Adventures YouTube kanal. Some, someone mentioned about the roads in Belgium. Ah. <laughs> Look at this, and it's uh, pretty narrow. They say that all looks like they're reinforcing it. Yeah. Oh my God. So we don't know where we're going to end up yet. There is a campsite, 1.2 miles. That's better. So we're actually right on the border between Luxembourg and Belgium. I think this now is back into Belgium. We've just sort of like been in this little town down on the, the border. So I think we're back in Belgium at the present time. Okay, it's point two. Um, looks like it's here somewhere. Okay, there it is, down there. So just right, got to do a little uh, turn now. <laughs> right, nice little uh, turn. In by the church. I saw there like a sign. There wouldn't be, not many signs, but there's a sign on the end of that building. Camping. Oh, vivre. Oh, down this. Down this lane? Yeah, down this lane. Right, so it's definitely down here, so I'm gonna... Oh, there's a cat, I see a camper van. Right, hopefully then, this could pan out. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you going oh. in? Um, so. Okay, it's looking good. So all I've got to do is um, get over by that machine, get my little... Uh, oh, and then there's uh, like a reader there, so we'll get over and have a look. Let's get this barrier up. Let's go and uh, check it out, get down on this spot. Right, so we're on campsite two. <laughs> Where's the entrance there? Oh, uh, oh, a bit further up that campsite too. It, uh, it was a shame back there, but for some strange reason. Okay then, so it's uh, campsite number two. Uh, they took cash. <laughs> cash is always king by the looks of it in Belgium. So uh, it looks a bit uh, traditional to say the least. So let's go down. She said, uh, just go down, help yourself. <laughs> we're like... Not near the water for me. Oh, river. Yeah. Mosquitoes. Yeah, not for me. Okay, let's just get down and see what's going on then. So we just, uh, 20 euros, electricity, that'll do us. Let's go and find a pitch. Find a place. So I think the uh, maybe the main camping's up in that area because these are a lot of like oh, oh. right, Bloody hell. These are a bit more uh, static homes down here. Oh, they got a like a lock over there, look, like a dam. Right, we'll just uh, try and suss out where we're going. There's a guy cutting the grass up there. I'm going to head this direction and uh, see. I'm going to look out where the um, electricity posts are. Let's have a look. Well, it's looking wet here. A bit wet there, but that's alright, it's dry up here. They've had rain, haven't they? Right, I can see the electricity pitches. So this is almost like now that where that caravan is. Right, let's just um, see where we want to go a minute. So it's Monday night and uh, I've just come up to the reception of the camping. Um, it's pretty dead down here to be honest. Um, so 
yeah um yeah we went down the road had a bit of trouble with the uh, card payment um it wasn't happening so uh, we decided to um, um come on up to this next camping and check it out and it's worked out okay we've just had our sort of tea we're on a hook up we'll show you what it's all about in a minute but i've just um got this going to show you some of this epic sky beyond here it's just like such a nice sky tonight I'll turn the camera the other way and this is the just up there is kind of the camping reception and some of this old school buildings down here is uh pretty impressive it's just like time stood still down here so i'm sort of sat here doing the upload of uh the video from today and uh we got a nice i'm gonna walk down and have a look at this water there's a lovely river that runs down here as well Just, uh, just waking up at the camping down in Belgium. I've just, I think I've just alerted a dog by talking. It's so quiet down here. And we parked over there. We'd sort of, bit, bit, it was a bit of a random one when we came in yesterday. Uh, we just sort of like, we're, we're just spoiled for choice. But uh, we ended up parking over there and uh, got hooked up. And it is so quiet down here, it's unbelievable. And uh, I've just been up to the, um, I've been up to the reception uh, to find out where to put my uh, trash and uh, I saw the lady and uh, she sorted us out with the internet yesterday she's very uh, she's an old lady with her husband and uh, they're very old people and she sort of didn't really understand but we got there in the end which was incredible and the wi-fi was um, spot on so that was really good but uh, she showed me in around her like, house. They've got these traditional kind of buildings up there and uh, not allowed to water them anyway. So they, um, they live in there. Uh, but it's, um, she said, come and have a look at uh, where we, you know, come and have a look. And uh, it's so sort of like, 
old school it's just unbelievable but uh, old wood burner in there and it's got like a little uh, pebbled garden inside it's just mad but uh, interesting and uh, we've got um, some red squirrels they almost look black some of the ones I've saw in the woods on the way back are very uh, almost black looking but uh, we've been trying to catch some pictures but uh, they're very very lucrative little uh, little characters so but I can see one down there running around now in the woods Yeah. 
that's in Hockenheim racetrack. 33 degrees in southern Germany. It is pretty warm out there today, but uh, it's pretty re renowned for being a bit warm down this uh, part of Germany. But yeah, and it is the motorway today is wall to wall trucks. It is unbelievable. <laughs> 